Okay, it looks like there's some folks here, but I am not finding myself on Facebook, so um, just if you could be patient with me for a second while I, I don't know what's going on, and, and okay, there I am. All righty. Okay, so we have Patty and Deborah and Ruth. Hi. Oh my gosh, Ruth. N now that I'm seeing your name, I saw your text I answered and I forgot to call you back. I will call you as soon as I can. Um, sorry about that. Um, but thank you for joining me. And for anybody that's going to watch this later, my name is Antoinette Bay with the Paper Papillion and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator Whoops, in Limbrook, New York. Thanks for being here with me today for a live at five. Um, kind of using the same color palette that I used the other day. When was I here last? Today's Saturday. I was here Thursday. And I brought you that bag and tag just to remind you what we made the other day. I have that here. Let me grab it. So this was the tag and the bag. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, um, but tonight we're making something a little bit different, but along the same colors. And we're using that hand pen memories and more um, card pack again. So I have lots left over and I'm gonna be using it up um, before the end of this catalog because I love it so much. So it's a pack of, I have more than 20, but uh, 20 cards and envelopes. And this is what we used the other day. And here are the cards. And these are larger cards. They're six by four and a half or six and a quarter by four and a half. Um, six and a quarter by four and a quarter, actually. So they're a little bit larger. They're about um, are three quarters of an inch longer. Uh, the width is the same, but they're about three quarters of an inch longer. So they're slightly larger than our normal five and a half by four and a quarter cards. And then these are the memories and more card pack. And I've used tons of these cards. I don't have that many of these left but these have been really fun to use. And I just saw um, a demonstrator from um, the artisan design team make a whole bunch of these cards, a bunch of cards with these little cards and the big cards. So I'm going to take advantage of her design, designs and recreate them because they're so pretty. So this is what we're using tonight. Just one piece out of here, not the envelope, but this polka dot part, the polka dot card base. And we're using, let's see, could you move the camera up a little? Let me try that. I'm frozen, Deborah. Maybe I need to just go back out. I could see myself moving here. So maybe you need to go back out and come back in. Can you try that? Okay. Let's see, hi Myrtle. All right, that's better. That looks better, right Patty? I think that's better. Let me move this a little bit. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna give it a second and make sure that it's all, yeah, that is definitely much better. Thanks, Patty. Okay, so I'm using Pool Party and Pale Papaya. Now, lots of the things are already cut. Everything's cut already, because I was gonna do this the other night, so everything's prepared. So on my original, I used these Elegant Faceted Gems, and I used the clear, and I like the way it looks, but today I think I might try these genial gems, which is what I used the other night. I used these pale papaya ones. This time I'm going to use these, uh, what colors are they? I don't even know. Pale papaya and probably, um, I don't know, maybe pool party. I don't know, it's a green. But anyway, we'll try those tonight, this afternoon. Um, hi, Tammy, hi, Dorothy. Uh, I am gonna do a drawing again 
um, at the end based off the comments on my blog from the posts I, pl I placed on Thursday evening. Um, so we're using layered blossoms again and blossoms in bloom. This is a bundle and I'm going to use happy birthday tonight. For my sample, I used the, I used missed you from, miss you from a different set. And tonight I'm using the uh, thinner die. The other day I used the thicker die. I'm also using uh, my favorite tailor-made tags and the Brilliant Wings dies once again. So as you can see, a lot of the same products I used the other day and the Time Worn type folder. This is the 3D embossing folder. And so I'm using that as well. But like I said, everything is already done. So I'm just gonna push this all over to the side. And thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, so here we go. This is a thick white card base at cut at five and a half by eight and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. Here's the piece that I already cut from the cards I just showed you. Here is that hand uh, time worn folder, if you could see that in the camera. And I have, whoop, that's the back of something else. So I've already die cut the thinner flowers. I only need one, but I have two. And I have to show you, I came across this the other day in my stash while I'm cleaning up things after Christmas. And this is a box of gold right here for me. Look at all of these die cuts I have in here. I have all this stuff that I've just kind of collected and thrown in here. And there's some valuable merchandise in here. Look at those that I've done. Um, some of them are already... So I'm going to go through this really with a fine tooth comb. And I am going to start using what I have in here. Because there's lots and lots of stuff in there that I started, never finished. So I don't know if you have a box like this, but I forgot that I had it. So I am going to use it. And so one of these I had already die cut and then I found that box and saw that I had another. So I guess if I make a mistake, I have an extra or I could run it through again. And then I have these butterflies already cut. One's a little damaged. They're not perfect, but they're okay. I just need one. And then, oh, I have two of them cut. Piece of pale papaya. Hi, Karen. And um, another tag. And I cut these out because I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to use this. I used it on my sample, but I might want to use these from the penned dies. So I'm going to put those on the side as well. And then I have these little tabs that are going to go on top of here. And I'm noticing that I have a little pale papaya on here, but that's okay. We'll work with it. So anyway, let's put all this to the side. What we're going to do first is take the tag and we're going to blend. So let's get the, I know this has, um, it's just stained. I didn't, I didn't wash it. It just kind of dries up after a while. So there's no yellow coming off of it, really. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to do that again. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty clean. So I'm going to take some pool party and I'm going to start from the corner and I want it to be dark here and then lighter as I go. Oh, I think there is a little yellow on there. It's kind of giving me a green look instead of a um, I don't have another brush that I can use. So it's giving me more of a green look than a um, pool party. So let me just keep doing this. So yeah, unfortunately, there's a little bit of yellow on there. So I'm getting a green tint. And I don't really appreciate that very much. But that's okay. We're working with it. It's going to go. We're going to go with it. I really thought that the brush 
was clean of the yellow, but not. So it's gonna have a little bit more green in it than, than the blue. And now I'm gonna go like that. Just keep spreading. So it's darker on this side, which is what I want, and on the bottom. Okay. So this has a little, just the sample is going to have a little bit more pool party in it. Let's just see how this goes. It's fine. All right. So you can see the difference in the color, right? And that's because my brush has too much yellow in it. And I didn't think that it had any. Um, let's try turning this around. Let me see if this one or this one that's pink might have been washed. Let's see. I don't see any pink coming off of here, of the pink color. I could be wrong. Let's try the other side and see. Okay, that's pool party. All right, that's the color I really want is the pool party color. So we're gonna go with this side because I didn't have another tag cut out yet so we're just gonna go with what I have hi Amy treasure box what treasure box oh my box of goodies yes it is it's a treasure box I'm sorry if this camera is shaking along with me brushing this Yes, it is a treasure box. I have a few treasure bo boxes in this room, trust me. Um, I start one, I put it somewhere, I forget where I put it, and then I start another one. So I can't wait to see what else I find as I clean things out. And since I've been having my sale, um, I've been finding a lot of things, actually. And some of them have been very useful retired ribbons oh yeah so look at the difference that is definitely green and that's pool party much better oh i'm glad i found a clean one now i know i gotta go upstairs and or to the slop sink down here in the basement and clean my brushes okay so the next thing we're going to do is from the color and contour set that i used the other day and where is it uh color and contour is right here and i need a block. Do I have it already on a block? Uh, this is the color and contour I used the other day, and now I just have to find the stamp that it's on, the block that it's on, because I just moved everything from the other day. I haven't cleaned, I haven't been down here. Um, goodness, now I can't find that particular block. Can you believe it? Everything else I could find. And I don't know where that one is. So you know what we're going to do instead? Since I can't find that block, we are going to take a pool party blend. Hold on. So there is always a solution. So instead, and I know I will find that block with that die with that die um, stamped on it. So we're gonna take a pool party blend and just splatter a bit, which is always fun to do. But I just don't like it to ruin my markers too much. So that's nice and light. And then if we find it before I put this on the card, we'll use it. Let's see, one other place I'm looking. I'll find it after wood. So you can see some of that splatter on here, hopefully. And now we'll put that to the side and we'll take the flower right here. And this is okay that it's like that. Let's see. I wanna get one that's very neat. This one's okay. And I'm going to lightly, this one has pale papaya on it. And 
and I'm going to lightly blend on here as well. But not the whole thing. I don't need the whole thing. And I could use a dauber too, if I want to. So you could use a dauber, you could use a sponge, and you can use um, a, br a blending brush. And you could also die cut it with the pale papaya card stock, but I didn't want to do that because I really wanted a, a soft look. And cardstock would be a little bit too dark, too harsh for the soft look that I'm going for. Yes, Deborah, I think we all have treasure boxes also. So there's that. Now, before, you know what? I am going to color these just in case since it's out. And... Maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. Um, that one's broken. So let's just leave these. Okay, let's go with what I had. Keep the soft look going. All right, so now I'm gonna move this aside and move this aside. That big die comes from the layered blossoms. I used it the other night for the front of the pocket card. I used this thick side. And then the, there's also a, a thin side, which is what we're using tonight. And then there's all these little flowers. So you can buy the die separately from the stamp set, but this is the stamp set it goes with. Um, Blossoms and Bloom Bundle. I think it's on page 128 or something like that in the back. Okay, so now we're going to take our card base and we'll fold that in half. And then we'll take our Time Worn die, uh, embossed piece and we're going to slip a very thin piece of pale papaya to the back before we do anything this is going to be a very quick card we're almost done already because there really isn't a lot to it um and i was gonna that's why i was gonna do it the other night but my other project was getting too long it was taking a longer time than i thought so now i'm going to Adhere that so that only a very thin piece is actually showing in the back of this. Okay. And then we're going to put this here, but before we do that, we're also going to have this piece coming out. So I only want this to be about five and a half inches anyway. So I'm gonna cut off about an inch. And that will go like that. And underneath there. That's all we need to show, okay? So I'm going to adhere that and I'll take my mat. So this is about a one and a half inch piece by five and a half. I used the scraps from my kit, hand penned memories and more cards and envelopes. And anything that's sticking out at the bottom here, I'm just going to cut off and then we could put this like that. I actually want to bring this out a little bit more. I didn't glue it. I could I still have time to move it before it really is stuck. So I just want to bend it 
a little bit this way. I don't know if I did anything there, but all right, now we're going to glue this down. And then I want this to be flush to the edge. So I'll go like that. And I did get glue up there, so I'm gonna let that dry and then use my um, glue adhesive remover to get that off in the corner. Okay, and then this is overhanging a bit. So I'm gonna trim that down because I don't like it to overhang. I need to clean this thing. Actually. Okay. All right. Leave that the way it is. And this is good on top. So there you have the base. So now we'll take the tag and then we're going to take some, I think I want a little bit more splatter on here. I don't think there's enough. I might need to get my marker. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming out. And the other thing you could do if you really want to is um, use Wink of Stella. Oh, you're welcome, Patty. Okay, so this is, I have thread from the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. So it has uh, very vanilla. I think that's gray granite, crumb cake, and white. And I think there's black, but I ran out of black. Yes, there's black. I think there's five in here. Is there five? Does it say? Maybe. Um, I, I think there's five. So I'm going to make this long enough so I can make a bow. Uh, actually, I'm going to tie a knot first. Hi, Diana. Good to see you. Okay. There's my bow. Here's my tag. It's got splattered. So I'm using the back side. So these little dots are recessed um, or raised instead of recessed because this is too green. And this is the pool party that I wanted the color. So now we'll put this on, but before we do that, we want to put just a portion of this showing here, okay? So I want about that. So I'm going to adhere it and then just cut around. So I'm going to put some adhesive back here. So I have using this as my guide. And I'm not adhering it so that I can't cut this. I need to cut this off now on this side. But you might wanna keep it nice and neat so that you could possibly use it on the inside. But I don't think I'm doing that. I don't think I'm keeping it very neat. and I just broke a leaf. Oh well, I'll be able to fix that. I'll get that underneath there. You can't probably see it, but I can see it, so I need to get that glued underneath because I don't want to lose that leaf. Let's see, I'll get a glue dot. A part of the leaf broke off, which you probably can't see as I mentioned, but I can see it, so it bothers me. 
and I want it to be a nice leaf. So there's a glue dot to hold my leaf in place. Okay, that makes me feel better. And then down here, I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna keep that. A little bit more here. This little piece I'm gonna cut off. Okay. Oh, I love that die cut behind the tag. So adorable. It is cute, right? I like it too. So I don't know if you were here, Diane went uh Diana. Oh yeah, you were. Um when we just colored half of the flower because we didn't need the whole thing. Okay, now this is gonna go down with adhesive um, or liquid glue. I'm gonna put some spots of glue on the flower first. Let's see, is the glue coming out? Yeah, it is. So I'm just gonna put little dabs of flower of a liquid glue. Oops, that's a big dab. Wow, this leaf is giving me a hard time. It doesn't want to stay put. I think I'm running out of glue which is part of the problem here at the moment. Okay, and then on the back of the tag. So anyone who's ordered anything in the past couple of weeks for me, everything is going out on Monday. So that would be the Bloom Where You're Planted sets. That would be the... Um, uh, gift box set, the Daffodil Delight gift box set with the box, the bookmark, and the card. Um, so the Blue Maria Planted is a kit to go. And the, let's see, I'm going to take a piece of this flower before I really glue that down. And I'm going to color it a little bit more with pale papaya. I want it to stick out a little and I might do a little bit of the leaf down here. Now this is the piece that we didn't use on the other side but I, I want to use it for to stick out from this side here. So if you placed an order, a minimum order of $35 or more my online store this week using the host code, you're getting the daffodil kit which is the box and the gift card. Uh, uh, sorry, bookmark and the box and the card and the bookmark. So, and if you purchased the gift card set using the hand pen petals, that is going out on Monday. I've gotten a few orders for those, that those that went to my blog and placed their orders there. So this is gonna go right under there, that little piece. And I'm gonna use a glue dot to secure that. And the Bloom Where You're Planted kit to go. That is a kit to go. So that is not pre-made by me. Um, and that is also, so I have lots of stuff going out on Monday. Lots and lots of stuff. So I'm going to make an early run before I start work to the post office on Monday morning. So by the end of next week, everybody who's ordered should have their product. And it will go USPS priority mail with tracking. So hopefully by Friday, wherever you live in the country, your items will be there. Um, oh, hey, Stacy, that's okay if you're late. Yep, you can always watch the replay if you so desire. Um, Okay, so there's that so far, right? So now let's just put that to the side 
and let's do our sentiment. So, like I said, I used Miss You on my sample, but for this one, I'm going to use um, Happy Birthday, and I'm going to take it from the matching stamp set. And I'm going to take Ooh. it from Whoa. the... I don't know how that happened. All of a sudden, my screen got big and I'm frozen. Oh no, now I'm okay. Let's see. Um, happy birthday. Here it is. I love this set and I definitely don't use it enough. Um, I'm going to use Versamark. Actually, I want to put it down and I want it to be lined up evenly. So when you put it down, if you just put it down on the block, it might not be straight. Okay. So I'm gonna ink this up. I think this pad needs a little bit more of the refill, actually. And I'm just gonna stamp that anywhere in the middle because it's gonna get cut down anyway. Let's see, is that, yep. So believe it or not, I'm going to order some new stuff from the new spring mini catalog uh, this week. Not ordering a lot, maybe one suite um, of product. Or maybe not just a suite of product. Hold on a second, I need a drink of water. Sorry about that. Uh, it's going to get loud for a second. So yeah, I'm gonna place an order. Um, one thing I want to mention while I, while I have you guys here, um, is a friend of mine on the team mentioned I'm gonna cut this down very close to the letters. I need my glasses. Um, a friend of mine posted on our team page. Um, she stated that she got um, a note from a customer of hers that. Um, she was glad that she found my friend because my friend obviously had mentioned something to this effect had mentioned to her about the starter kit and, um, or the join kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, where she had been purchasing this customer had been purchasing from someone else, but the other person and she'd been purchasing a lot. And uh, the other Stampin' Up! demonstrator never told her about the join specials. She just kept ordering and ordering, and she was always well over $100, obviously, because that's why she mentioned this. And um, what she said to my friend, who I guess she just recently started purchasing from, was that she was so glad to hear about the join special because in all the years she's with her other demonstrator, she never mentioned the join special where she could be a discount shopper, and whatnot. So I guess she never really heard about the Stampin' Up! deals. And I'm guilty of always assuming that people that are customers and not demonstrators here don't know about it. There's always some sort of good special going on other than the daily special, which, which is to join for $99 and get $125 worth of product and no shipping on your first order, your join order. Right now, Stampin' Up! is having a special to join. For $99, you get $125 worth of product. Plus, you get to pick out two free stamp sets from any catalog, the annual or the new mini catalog. And then you also get um, celebration items. And in the back of the celebration catalog, if you're looking at mine, it's online, um, you see the join and it mentions here during celebration, you'll also get your choice of any two stamp sets for free. So if you're a customer of mine or anyone else's for that matter, 
you can join with a demonstrator um, and spend $99, get $125 worth of product. That's This is in the US, um, different prices in Australia and UK and all over the world. Um, but $99, you get $125 worth of product. And right now the special is to get additional two stamp sets. So, you know, you might want to consider that if you spend $100 on an order. And then you don't have to do what I do or what some other demonstrators do, which is Facebook Lives and be active as far as posting on a blog. You don't have to have any of that. You just be a happy shopper and get a 20% discount yourself. So instead of purchasing from me, and me getting your 20% discount, you could be part of my team. We're small, we're five people right now. You can be part of my team. And I will be honest, I don't do a whole lot because um, I work full time. So, um, you know, I don't do a whole lot of, I used to when I wasn't working full time, I did a little bit more um, as far as challenges and things like that. I don't do much of that. Um, don't disregard the colors on the back. I just happened to use a piece of paper that had been stamped on and I didn't realize it. It was actually part of the, the gift box stuff and I had stamped on it and I didn't realize. I'm trying to get these bits out of this butterfly. Um, but anyway, um, but you know, there's always perks on my team. Um, and whatnot but um, if you're only interested in being a hobby demonstrator anyway meaning just for the discount doesn't matter where where you really who you join with I mean I would always like to say I would like it for you to join my team but that's up to you um, I might go with the other butterfly because I'm not liking the way this one's looking obviously I didn't put it through the dye enough Let's go with this one. This one's neater. Bye-bye to that one. Okay. And the other thing I'm doing, so if you have any questions about that, I might not have been 100% clear at the moment, but if you have any questions about that, you can always ask me. Email me. Um, you can contact me through my blog. So what I'm going to do here is put a little liquid glue on the back of this. Where's my mat? lost it oh here it is on the back of the body of the butterfly just need a little and this is going to go right about there on an angle I'm gonna have to clean this up. There's a little bit too much glue around there. I'll clean that up later. And then these are gonna get dimensionals. I'm gonna use my black dimensionals because I have some tiny ones here. So we'll go with black since I'm, I have it on black cardstock. And the other thing is, you know how I've been telling you to go to my blog and leave a comment and while that's great and I, I love your comments, I'm gonna go back to the comments and the shares here. So next Thursday when I come, I'm pulling all the comments and the shares here. I'm gonna do that wheel of names instead of my little post-it notes. So now this is gonna go here, like that, right in the body. And then that up a little bit so on my sample I use these clear ones on this I'm going to use these because they kind of match right um hold on one second I thought I saw something come through okay let's try this instead so we'll go with a bigger one so just so everybody knows 
I'm just gonna go back to your next week. I'm gonna pull the comments and the shares from here to, and it's gonna go all in one box. And it's gonna be one card per week that I am going to um, be giving away. Just so everybody's clear, you don't have to go to my blog because if I don't have my blog post ready, it's really difficult for people to remember to go back and make a comment. Um, I just wanted to utilize my blog more. So there, it looks good with the green, with these this color. And I'll show you the original in a second. But I wanna try to clean this up. I know you probably can't see it, but I can, and that's bothering me. And I'm gonna clean it up here later, just in case I mess it up online while I'm online. Uh, and for this one, um, I don't have, I, can, I guess I can do one of the smaller butterflies and add that to the inside. Maybe one of these smaller ones. I wonder if I have any in here. Let's see. Ooh, what do I have in here? Another box of treasures right inside. No, but no little ones. Oh, wait, I have a little one. I have little ones. Oh, this one's a mess. No, we're not going to use that. It's kind of messy. Do I have another little one? Oh, I have this, but that has purple splatter on it. So maybe I'll die cut another small one and put that in the inside and give it a little color. I think that's what I'll do. So whoever's going to win the card next week, um, somebody's going to win this card. So let me get my original and put it side by side. Uh, but the winner will get the one I made tonight, which is happy birthday. The one that I made as my sample is Miss You. What did I do on the inside? Oh, I made a mistake. I put the flower inside here. Actually, that's not bad though. I think maybe I will do that. We'll see, we'll see what I do for the inside. But this is mine and this is the sample. So there you have it. And this is the one that the winner next week will get. All right. Hope you like that. It's pretty sweet, right? It's a sweet little card. So let's do the drawing. Um, so I mentioned the join, right? I don't have anything else tonight to share with you except the join. And as I mentioned, um, everything that anyone has ordered or is it expecting from me using the host code. So anybody that used the host code and placed an order with me, these will go out on Monday. These are my samples, but uh, all you ladies that ordered with me this week and used the host code, these are gonna be coming to you pre-made, okay? Handmade by me, that's what I promised. In the future, these type of things will be in my online store uh, on my blog. And all you ladies that ordered the kit, that is already pre-made, the four cards with the box and the ribbon. These are going to be going out on Monday as well. Um, I've made a lot so far, but, and then the um, Bloom Where You're Planted kits, I only had four and they were all sold. And those are also going out on Monday. So for anyone that has ordered with me this past couple of weeks, everything, Monday's a big shipping day. Um, and so, and I appreciate all of it. I'm going to have, um, it's not really going to be Valentine's, but it will be something you can use for Valentine's if, if you want. So I'll have a limited number of kits to share with you next week so that if you want them, I'll need to have you place, there'll be a kit to go. It will not be a uh, pre-made kit or anything I'm sharing in my online store. Um, so if you want anything related to uh, Valentine's that does not need to be used for Valentine's, um, can be used for anything, you, you can come back next week and I'll share that with you and I'll let you know how you can earn that, okay? Uh, let's do the drawing. So the drawing is for this card and it's from, I only had four or five comments on my blog um, for this card. I'm not sure that people actually knew to go there. I mentioned it here, but not, maybe not anywhere else. So I'm gonna do the wheel of names for those five comments that I got. 
and um, I have my husband's laptop. So let me just get to, how do I, hold on, I gotta log in. Okay, so these are the five names and I'm going to spin the wheel. Let's make sure it's in camera. Okay, I'm gonna spin and we'll see who it's going to be. Patty Golub, you are the winner. There you go. And this is what you're winning. We'll be in the mail on Monday with everything else. Okay? All right. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next Thursday. I'm going to be coming back to you once a week. I'm going back to Thursdays again. Next Thursday, I'll be calling a prize winner for this card that I made tonight. And it will be uh, the names that I'm pulling are going to be from all the shares and all the comments here on Facebook. Okay. Although this will be on my blog and I'd love it if you went, it will be on my blog tomorrow. And I'd love it if you went back and left a comment for me, not necessary to be in the prize drawing. It will all come from Facebook. Um, so thank you very much to everybody for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you all next Thursday. Bye-bye at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Bye.